Wall jumping and sliding has become an essential mechanic in games these days. If you want to learn how to add this to your own game, then keep watching, because I'm going to show you just how to do it. Game Dev Journey Now this one very much depends upon how good your animation for wall sliding or wall jumping is. I've gone ahead and imported a, an, a strip of animations for my wall slide and as you can see it is perhaps not the greatest one um, but we'll see how it works out right so now that we have our animation what we're going to do is create the events to allow our player to jump and slide down the walls now you'll also notice that i have added in a wall on the left and a wall on the right so that the player uh, cannot escape these boundaries here we can't do our wall jumping or wall sliding yet but the walls are there for us to slide against so let's go into the event sheet and get started right so the first event we're going to the first thing we want to do is check if the player is next to the left wall and then we'll check if the player is next to the right wall and we'll do specific things depending on which wall they're next to so if we go to our player controller and we check if they're next to a wall on the left hand side we also want to then just determine if they're falling so we're adding another condition and we're going to find out if the player is falling and we also want to make sure that the player is not on the floor so we're going to add is on floor but that one we will invert so we're not on the floor so we have a wall on the left and we are falling down the wall on the left what we want to do then is set our player animation to our um, wall jump or wall slide animation and we want to reduce the gravity of the level because you want to slide down the wall slower than you would fall in the level because you're holding on to something so the gravity of the level is a thousand five hundred as you can see here we're going to reduce that right down to a hundred so we're going to say um, player controller set gravity and we'll bring it right down to a hundred so that's what's going to happen when we slide down the wall um, and we can go and test that and see what happens so when we have a wall on our left we can slide down that wall okay um, we haven't reset gravity that's why it shot off but you can see that it's, it does actually work now what we'll do is make it so that you can jump when you're sliding down the wall so we need to check if the player is pressing the up key so we're going to add another event for the keyboard on key pressed and we'll see is the player pressing the up arrow or the jump key whatever it might be and if they are then we're going to change the y vector of the platform to zero and we're going to change the gravity back to default which is 1500 we'll set the gravity back to 1500 and we will set then set the y vector to minus 400 so basically what's going to happen here is the if you press up the player character controller is going to move up 400 pixels remember negative on the y axis is up okay so let's just see what that looks like so here we have a wall we press up and there you can see you can now you can do the jump already you can jump against the wall and slide and jump and slide and jump okay now he's going to shoot off again oh. no the gravity has actually been reset over here so he's fine okay so that would be wall jumping on the left hand side now if we want to make him wall jump on the right hand side we can do exactly the same thing so I'm going to copy and 
paste this. Here and we're just going to change it to wall on the right. Um, everything else is the same. We'll also play the wall jump, but here we want to make sure that um, nothing has changed. That looks fine to me. And now we should be able to jump on the left and right wall. So let's go and check if wall we do our jump and slide. Okay, and right wall, we can do our jump and slide as well. Okay, one thing that I think we should do is reverse the animations so that when he's on the left wall, he's looking right, and when he's on the right wall, he's looking left. So we'll do that and see if that improves the look. So let's try over he um, here, let's add in. Um, Layer animations. We'll set mode to true over there. And on this one, we'll set mode to false. Uh, let's have a look how that looks. Okay. That didn't. Didn't seem to do anything. I got it the wrong way around, perhaps. Yes, okay, I had it the wrong way around. Uh, and that looks a lot better because he's actually sliding down the wall and looking in the opposite direction. So let's just fix that. Okay. Now what we want to do is just make sure that when we are actually um, back on the ground, that gravity is set to the default. So we're going to add another event here. We're going to say uh, when the player um, is falling and another condition would be that the, the player does not have a wall on the left or the right. So we're going to say is by wall left and invert that add another condition for a right wall, so we're going to say is by wall right and invert that. So you're falling but you don't have a wall on your left or on your right. Okay, So that's just normal falling. For that gravity is not reduced, gravity is the same. So we'll make sure that we set the gravity to 1500 when that happens. Gravity is 1500, normal default gravity for when you're just falling normally. And then we'll also make sure that when you land, so platform on landed, so whenever you land on the ground again, gravity goes back to default. So we'll add an action and we'll set the gravity back to default. Okay, so let's test it. So here we have our character, our knight. He can run around, he can roll from our previous tutorial, jump and fall, jump and fall, encounters a wall, and we can jump on the wall and slide slowly down, and we can jump on a right wall and slide slowly down. And that's it. I hope that it helps someone out there. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to support me. Goodbye.